girls, you got to knead it with booty bands and you wanted to learn about how to reduce your banana butt. And I'm gonna help you do that with a booty band. You've been requesting this video for quite some time. So I'm ready to show you my top favorite workouts that really target this area. Let's get rid of that banana butt. So a banana butt is usually this area in which when your booty starts to droop because of aging and gravity, it starts to develop this little wrinkle that's underneath your booty. So right on top of your, up on your upper leg. And it doesn't look that appealing when you're in a swimsuit or when you're trying to wear shorts. So I'm gonna help you learn how to smooth this area out and so you feel more confident wearing that bikini or those shorts. These five exercises that I'm gonna teach you today are going to be able to lift and round that booty out. As well, I'm gonna really focus on your hamstring area. So we're gonna smooth out the back of the legs. Awesome, let's get started with our first exercise. I'm going to do a back lunge with a curtsy lunge and then a kickback. I'm gonna do that a total of 10 times on one leg and then 10 times on the other with a little dessert at the end. I'll show you here in a second. Let me go through the modifications here. You can see I'm holding the back of a chair for balance. Also, you do not have to go as low if you are a beginner. For my advanced, try to use your core for balance instead of the chair and get really, really nice and low through these lunges. Your standing leg should be on fire. Your biggest emphasis here is that you're really stepping back with that back leg so that you get a 90 degree angle in that front leg. You are going to feel it on fire as you're constantly going back and forth through these movements. Now take a look at this extra credit right here, just kicking back and forth left to right and you're going to do a total of 10 and that's going to get that final burn through that standing leg. All right, girls, the second exercise, you're gonna be doing your standing toe touch along with your jump squat. So this one, I'm using a modification with the chair for my balance. If you're feeling like you're more advanced and you can handle it, go ahead and try without the chair. Keep in mind your standing leg is gonna be slightly bent as you're doing these, and I'm doing 10 on each leg. Slow and controlled movements is going to be best. You wanna have your form be correct. And to be able to do that, you wanna have that mind-body connection that I always talk about. So right now, I'm really focusing on digging my heel into the ground as I'm standing up through my single leg toe touch. And when I press my heel into the ground, I'm focusing more on my hamstring and my glutes. Also keep in mind that when I'm doing my single leg toe touches, I'm not touching the ground. As you notice that I only go to where I can feel a nice good stretch through the back of my legs and then I dig my heel to stand up. So, um, and the emphasis from that is you just don't want your back to do the work, you want your legs to do the work. Um, next for my, my jump squats, notice my knees are not going over my toes. You want to imagine a chair right behind you, so you really want to push that booty as far out as you can. Getting nice and low through these is also going to help that banana butt because the range of motion and being able to get really deep in these exercises is going to be crucial. Exercise three, just as I told you that range of motion is important, check out this advanced step up. 
So notice I'm stepping down, then going into a deep lunge, and then stepping up. Really, really challenging that under banana booty right now. Now, if you are not as advanced, you're gonna choose a step that's a little bit smaller and also just go to your range of motion and obviously holding on to something will also help you. My reps I'm doing is anywhere from about 10 to 15 reps on each leg. Keep in mind my reps are pretty high because I'm wanting to be in a fat burning state. Um, so I'm, I'm challenging those muscles, I'm keeping those curves, I'm shaping my body, but meanwhile I'm burning a lot of calories. So listen to your body. If your heart rate is pounding and it says I need to slow down, then please take a few breaks because these steps are, these step ups are really challenging, challenging in general. So um, please go to what your limit is, listen to your body. If, if it's easy and you feel like you can fly through it, then grab some weights and really uh, challenge yourself that direction. All right, exercise four, the hip thrust with a little dessert. So if you are advanced, add some weight onto your hips. If you're a beginner, you can do it just like this or you can be lying down on the mat doing a bridge. Either one will be fine. This exercise is great because you're gonna be feeling the back of your legs, your booty, and also a little bit of your lower back. It's gonna be strengthening all three. Please make sure that you're focusing on digging your heels into the ground. And after you do about 10, then you can go into 10 of the isolation exercises, which are these. So do any sort of moving your feet around if you feel that you know something doesn't feel right. Um, my biggest advice is just move your foot around until you can feel your booty actually working. And so that's, that's the biggest trick is, is really finding that sweet spot. And sometimes it just means inching that, that heel to the left or inching it to the right. You'll always see me kind of make some little small changes in my, in my workouts. Yay, last workout, what's up? Let's get elevated. This is one of my favorites to target that banana booty. Ooh, you're gonna feel it right here. Do keep in mind, have that mind-body connection. I felt too close to the chair, so you're gonna see me shift back just a little bit right here. And that's when I really started to feel that connection. So again, make any little sort of changes that you can do to really feel that area. I'm doing 10 on each leg. And then after that, I will do both legs. And after that, pulsing, because you know I love pulsing. Your emphasis, again, is your heel. Notice that I'm really driving my heel there. For modification on this one, just use something lower to the ground or just use the ground itself. And for advanced, you can put weight onto your hips. Awesome, let's just stretch it out. So a little knee hug here, rocking back and forth, gives you a nice good massage on your lower back. Focusing on your breathing. Sometimes we forget to breathe as we're exercising. So really about three deep breaths through each one of these, in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm going a little bit fast through these. Um, the next one is figure four. So just crossing that leg over, pressing that knee away. And then this one is your supine twist. This one feels amazing on your back.
As you repeat onto the other side, I just want you to focus on inhaling in positive things, exhaling anything that is not serving you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you on my next video.